Hey guys, we're back for some more standard. Um, yeah, no changes here to the deck since the last video. Um, I will have the uh, the list in the description, both on Moxfield and on untapped.gg. And then there also should be at the end of the video, the full playlist if you want to see kind of all the videos of, of uh, and all the games for this deck. But uh, yeah, if it's your first time here on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And if you do like my content, please do consider subscribing to my channel and sharing it with a friend who might also like it. Um, maybe drop a comment or a like. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for being here and showing your support. You guys really do mean the world to me and are the backbone of my channel. So again, um, I would check the playlist if you want kind of the sort of original video with the description of the deck, but we're just gonna go ahead and jump in um, and see if we can get some games. If you do really like my content and you want to, you know, leave a tip, thank me, um, there is a way to do it. So if you go to the little more icon, um, you can actually donate via super thanks. So if you want to leave a tip, um, I greatly appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you want to show your support and your thanks, there's another way to do that. And you can do that right in the, um, through YouTube here. So, all right, let's get into some games. Hope everybody's been having a nice night so far. And uh, yeah, it just, it's been really fun doing Mono Red. It just feels uh, just like nice and easy and clean. And yeah, I've been enjoying it. Okay, this hand is great. We've got good turn one uh, Kumano into Codebreaker or Swift Spear plus Play with Fire. Looks like we're up against uh, possibly like the Gruel Picnic Ruiner deck, um, or maybe sort of like a bigger creature strategy deck. And we could try to get rid of Adaptive here, but I think going just for the Kumano play is going to be pretty good. Unless they've got two one drops, we can still go like Swift Spear plus Play with Fire if we need to. Yeah, so I think here we're just racing. Um, and I think just going Swift Spear plus Kumano is probably going to be just fine, honestly. So now we can just go Lightning Strike on the Devastator and swing. Happy to trade Kumano here with their Adaptive. We lose the trigger here from this Kumano. Um, but yeah, I think that, you know, there's... We don't have good attacks here with our Kumano if we just go, like... You know, try to leave, like, the, the play with fire up or, or whatnot. So I think this is just going to be better this way. Go ahead and clean that up. So now they've got Kadama. Um, how do we want to do this? Could go like Invasion on one of the Kumanos, making our Swift Spear a 3 4, then swing into it and see what they want to do. I 
That feels pretty good. Um, otherwise, I guess we just attack and leave play with fire up. They try to do like the double block. Problem there is they could just do like the triple block and then kind of invalidates that play. And I think getting invasion down is decent here. This way we at least get to trade with Kodama. Could double swing here, but I think that we, we don't want to just throw away our Kumano into their Kadama. So I think we just push with Swift Spear and see what they do. Yeah, and, and then we're we're willing to make this trade. So now we can go like Scoundrel plus Play With Fire. Um, give the, yeah, maybe we can, I'm trying to think if we want to like put the the roll token on like the Kumano just to try to get them to like double block and then blow them out. We could also just um, put it on the Scoundrel then just like both push at the invasion and see what they do. That's another option. Codebreaker here I don't think is super great. It's just, um, cause I mean, becoming a three, two is just not that helpful. I guess this like is like more of a blowout, but we missed some damage here. Um, yeah, I think it, even though we're missing a little bit of damage, I think this is like a better potential for a blowout here. And then if they don't block, we just get them. So now they're getting kind of low enough, we can just start going face potentially here. Um, getting this dragon is all nice and well and good, but they're at eight life. So I think the play here is just swift spear into code breaker and then just all go face. And if they want to eat one of our creatures, that's fine. We get to push more damage. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, opening hand looks great. Got a nice one, two, three. If we draw the third land. Looks like we're up against the helping hand deck here. Oh, never mind. This, I guess, is the, the reanimator. Re um, yeah. Okay, and they've got Grifter here, so we need removal really quickly. Unfortunately, we haven't got any in hand.
Well, there's the removal, but it's one turn too late, unfortunately. So they can make this thing a 4-5. Um, Monstrous Rage can still deal with it. So I think the play here is just Code Breaker and then see what they do. And then if they don't do anything, I guess we can just go play with fire here. They probably want to take another turn to try to get there. Um, I'm trying to think if we want to hold the play with fire or not. I think next turn we want to go like Squee plus Monstrous Rage. So I think we just play with fire here for the extra damage. Okay, they've got Kami in there so they can get extra mana going. Oh yes, this is kind of an infinite mana loop. So I'm curious, like, what the, is it just like a, they just drain us out somehow, or like mill us for a bunch, uh, I guess they drain us out. Yeah, I think we really just needed the removal on the right turn to be able to deal with the grifter before it went kind of nuclear here. I've not actually seen that infinite combo before, so yeah. Opening hand looks great. And again, always leading with uh, Kumano faces Kakazan if you have it. the damage is the same I'll just uh, I think since we're gonna get double triggers off of it I'd rather get the swift spears going now I don't think it really matters because we'll have three mana out I suppose um, I guess I'll just run these out now just trying to think if we want to have this with the extra counter on it or not I think I'll do swift spears 
This way, like, if, if they have cut down, it's not quite as bad. Yeah, and I guess that's gonna be enough. All right, let's take a look at the stats. All right, so we are currently at 72% win rate, um, 31 wins and 12 losses. So still really happy with the deck. Um, mono red, we're at 70%, seven wins, three losses. Um, Boros Convoke, seven and one, three and one against blue white control, um, three and one here against Demir, three and zero oh against mono white. Looks like one and two against Rakdos, so maybe a little bit of a tough matchup. Um, this one here, I guess maybe just the artifact deck or something like that, I, or maybe just not enough data to calculate what this was. Um, two and zero oh against mono black, o two against Esper, um, two and zero oh against Gruel, and then. 0-1 against Selesny Enchantments, 1-0 against Golgari, and looks like um, Sultai maybe, or this possibly Domain here, 0-1. Um, but yeah, overall, very happy with the deck so far, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, and remember, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here, and I really appreciate you. Mm -hmm.